That's funny, I'm listening to music on my uh, earbuds and I'm listening to a radio station, national radio station. <laughs> I just hear uh, a friend of mine uh, performing somewhere, which is really funny. I didn't know he was playing somewhere. <laughs> so I, I'm laughing, oh, I, uh, I'm listening to the thing you're gonna play in like two minutes apparently. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so. Let's level this. Mm, I might need a dust shoe for this. So there's nothing. Oh. Screwed up my ZX is there. So I'm gonna zero it. So this is what I'm gonna do. It doesn't have to hold much, it just has to stay flat. So I'm gonna add some, like a few dots or two dots. Here, here, maybe here, and here. Ain't this stupid? It's better. It's definitely not the solution, but. So this is uh, like stock stuff. Eight millimeters. Eight point five actually. Do it in half millimeter steps because I'm not sure how well it remains in position. Okay. <coughs> Let me check that if that's correct. Before I screw up all the magnet. Still not touching, not touching. It is just scrubbing it. Okay. Here goes nothing. Yeah, just a tiny 
出来There's fun downside to all of this. Like slitters of magnet are everywhere. <sighs> of course, it sticks to metal, so. <laughs> <laughs> in it but even there on my mock which is one and a half meter away so I need to do something about the shavings because it's always it's also on the on the rails the linear rails which is not a good thing but then again this is kind of a good thing so I need my uh, circle to be bigger that's for sure. But that looks... <laughs> it's like a, a very smooth pancake. Cool. That works great. Nice. Well, enough of that. It's more of the same. I'm gonna do a little bit more because since I got it set up right now, I better use it. So, so that's the magnet in the end, and uh, pretty pleased. I mean, it doesn't take ages. Problem is the shavings are getting everywhere, so I need to use the vacuum thingy. For sure and um, if I limit it to a whole roll which is kind of tricky I mean if it goes wrong uh, you screw up a lot of money in one go <laughs> although it might be able to be used as tweeter magnet or something although I don't want to go that route but uh, yeah this is the stuff and it should be able to fit quite easily in the in these slots except for the end usually this is tapered a little bit so it's a little bit bigger this should fit am I saying very confidently then of course it doesn't Like so. These are the reclaimed ones. So I probably will use them. I mean, it's a waste to just throw everything away because it's one centimeter too short. I mean, it's not gonna matter much. I think I used glue on these. That's why the color is different. different. I 
and I like the slightly mm -hmm. undersized how it, how it moves into the groove. So these are a little bit thinner than this one, and I prefer that. It's uh, far less hard work to get it in there. That's how I make my panel. And if you take the steel, for instance, I want the, the specific width of the magnet to be seven because it will line up with the holes. So now it's black on black on black on black. So that's not gonna work. To show you something. As well, the metal is as, as wide as the jig, as you can see. All for a purpose. Because at the end it lines up. So you can see that the holes, this row, lines up uh, with the space in between the magnets. That's where the coil is gonna sit. So this is the, the most amount of open area I could make from this kind of panel. Uh, with this size magnets. So I chose seven because it just it's in between those rows. In between this point here and that point there. And it leaves room for the coil to sit. So if it's all finished you can see in these holes you can see the sh a little bit of shine of the foil coil. If it was push-pull. But yeah. And so on and so on. But um, I think I make I'm gonna make the MDF first right now. By the way, because uh, I lack the the MDF, which is quite crucial if you want to make something with it. Um, then glue in this uh, thing uh, with glue I don't know which one yeah maybe epoxy maybe a gorilla glue because it's a little bit faster I don't have time to wait for a gazillion hours um, and then I should be able to just um, fill this one up and dump it in with glue attached of course and we should have a panel well that will be uh, uh, somewhere this week. So I made several rolls. This one is cut from eight and a half millimeter with stuff down to this size. And I want to do a complete roll, which is a complete roll. It's kind of big. It doesn't fit in the image. It's 50 meters of this stuff. It's quite heavy. Do you got a uh, some magnet roll for me? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so if I fuck up this, it would be a waste. So I'm not sure yet if I want to do a whole roll or maybe half a roll, just to limit the chance of a fuck up and ruining a whole roll. That's it for uh, today, I think. I'm pleased with this at least. This is the annoying part of every time I make this kind of loudspeaker that I have to make this jig. Well, you don't have to, but if you want to have it neat, you have to make something like this. Also, problem if someone says, can I buy magnets and uh, I want to make the same. It's all fine and dandy, but you need something like this. Uh, which is annoying because this is a lot of work to make. Or at least for the machine it is, not for me, but still. Hard on the cutters, cost material, etc, etc. But see you next time.